going on everyone it's dungeon here and I'm coming back with another Elden Ring Beast Mode video and today I'm going to the Academy Gate town for episode 14.01 as part of my full walkthrough with that being said let me show you how to get there on the map and if you already know you can use the chapters down below to skip ahead alright you guys so we are pretty much already here we're at the Academy Gate town and in case you're wondering, um, maybe you're jumping in at this episode and you haven't watched any other ones. Um, it's pretty much like north, northwest of Stormvale Castle. <clears throat> if you pretty much follow the uh, markers on the Sites of Grace, you'll pretty much get here. Alright, so from this side of Grace, um, the map is right there. Now there's a bunch of stuff. There is a bunch of stuff that I've already taken. So we're just taking the remainder of stuff, okay? Um, but I will tell you if there is something we go past that I have taken, um, I pretty well remember what most of that stuff is, but I will tell you where all of it is, uh, even if I can't remember what it is. Alright, so, first thing we gotta do is grab whatever this is. Honestly, don't remember. Magic Grease. Very unremarkable. <clears throat> now, what's very important from the, uh, Magic Grease want to come over here you got to talk to this guy very very important especially Hello, for this friend. character tell the whereabouts they laid hand the tale of how I Dialoth. look this is his this is his servant that he was talking about they laid hands upon my servant the tale of house hosla i dialos swear to deliver the message those are fighting words bro those are fighting words bro Ooh all right so we, we his story ain't over his story ain't over bro and for this character, this is our arcane build. We want that guy to talk, all right? Now, from there, we go basically straight to the side, and here we go, right here. Number stone two. And from there, um, if you haven't gotten, I don't think there's anything in that one. Let's see which direction is that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there. It's a uh, teleporter or way gate, um, but you do want to go along this way. There is something over here. Uh, make sure I get my bearings. Hold on, what direction am I going? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this way. Because uh, there is something over here. So graveyard, cave moss, you know. And in one of the previous episodes, there's, in straight right here, there's one of those uh, death birds, ritual death birds. Yep. Got stone sword key, if I remember correctly. There we go, yep. And, um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do a ride by and we'll come around from the other side. There is, you gotta be careful if you come this way, there is a rune bear right here. But, see it right there? So, you do have to be careful. But, if you're worried about it, um, I've showed you guys this before. You can equip a sleeping pot, or if you have like a sleep arrow or something like that. A sleeping pot is probably the easiest. Just throw a sleeping pot at its face. And uh, it'd be good. One, maybe two. I say two. And now I've already got everything over here. I apologize, you guys. Um, I think this was from a different video. But there's a number of golden rooms on this on these uh, graves. Okay, so you can grab those. And over here, I think I, I'm pretty sure we got this too. Yeah, there's some smithing stone too. Three smithing stone two right here. Okay. So make sure you get those. And charge four. The I'm pretty sure it's charge four. <clears throat> Ash of War is right up here on the left. Um, it's hanging from the ceiling. There's like a uh, scarab hanging from the ceiling. Now I know, yeah. So we got that in probably one of the earliest episodes. Uh, this is pretty decent char uh, charge four. Pretty decent Ash of War. So make sure you grab that. Like I said, it's pretty much right up here on the ceiling, right up there. You see it. All right. And then, uh, so make sure you grab that. Like I said, that's in one of the earlier videos. Um, and 
then come down this alleyway. And if you haven't gotten that, hold on a second. Around here somewhere, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is, hold on a second. There it is. Yeah, there it is. And if you haven't gotten this, you definitely want the golden seed. Okay? You definitely want the golden seed. Alright? And if you're wondering, from the side of grace, it's actually straight down that broken road, and then right here. Okay? Um, now, the last thing is a Glintstone cookbook. Which, right ahead. Um, we already got that in a different episode, though. And that's right here. Right here. Okay. Pretty simple. Gymnastics from Torrent. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that's pretty well everything, actually. Um... Pretty sure that's all the main stuff that you want to get. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> I did. Oh, no, no. I did get that. I was thinking about that scarab, but we got that already. So, yeah, that's everything. There's, I mean, you'd think there's a lot more stuff, but there's really not. Now, there's a couple ways that you can get into the gate. Um, uh, you know what? Let me show you an easy way, actually. We're going to go to... <laughs> we're going to go... <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to go right over here to the Gate Town Bridge. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So I am not at the Gate Town Bridge. I'm actually at the Lyurnia Highway North. Um, the reason is because I thought there was a way gate over here, but instead I found something pretty interesting. So I'm going to insert that right now. Ah, I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. It's so faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But oh with boy. everyone's eyes together, it appears. Fine, I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. Oh dang, I've she done puking though. I've very important, I'm certain now. Alright, she gonna be a finger maiden now. All right, let's let's actually go to the actual spot that we're supposed to go. If not, all right, you guys. So from the Leonia Highway North, all right, right here, Leonia Highway North. What we want to do? I know we've passed up a couple times some way gates over here, and uh, boy, those dudes. And basically, what we want to do is go right into this way gate right here, the Purified Ruins. All right, it's gonna bring us somewhere fun. All right, check it out. Um, the first time that I played this game, and pretty much almost every subsequent playthrough, I have pretty well always done this in order to get to the gate town proper, um, because it makes it a little easier. Because um, we're we're like basically coming in and. It, we're going to loot the area, but from basically from behind, all right, um, which, you know, gives us some measure of advantage against the enemies. Not that the enemies are too terribly difficult or whatever, but um, so if we want to, here's the gate right here. Now, for those of you, you know, who've never done this before, you can't get through this gate. In order to get the, through these kind of gates, you need special keys. All right, now I have the special key already, um, and I'm gonna show you. Actually, matter of fact, why don't I insert that right here? So now that we have the map, and, and the map is a rudimentary map, I'm gonna show you real quick what that looks like. Yeah, see how it's like here in the back and yeah. Well, you could you could actually see Ray Lucaria on the top right. And you see something blue right there, <clears throat> pretty much to the west of it. So when you take a look at your actual map, here we are. 
and then uh, here's Rhea Lucaria, right? And then see that island right there? So there's something blue right here. And that clue is supposed to tell us to go here. So I already did that in a, actually it was a, it wasn't a, I was for a previous episode. I recorded it and let me show you what that looks like. Before we can go to pretty much anywhere where you have those magical sealed gates, what you want to do is come here. All right, you might be like, well, what are we doing here? We are going to defeat a dragon. All right, that's the plan. All right, and I'm sticking to it. And actually, let me uh, load up. There we go. Let me get some dragon ice going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, and there's a bunch of ways to defeat this boss, you know. There it really is. Um, this is going to be a magic dragon, I think. Pretty sure. So, um, we're gonna mess this thing up like I'm the real bro. Now you definitely want to watch out because it's got magic breath and it don't mess around at all. Alright, hold up, here we go. Bro! Get some help. Oh, get out of there, bro! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Alright, hold up, hold up. Let's get some poison. There we go, alright. Now I've got my poison blades out, and I know people are like, poison blades, they suck, bro. But I don't care if they suck. That's what I'm doing. There you go, to the face, bro. Alright. Now he's got his poison. Uh, oh, cool, man. Oh, that was close, my man. Uh, hold up, let's get some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that stuff. Haha. <laughs> Bro, that was uncalled for. Yo, 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 come on. Uh, I gotta get him before it's too late. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm get on foot. That's it, I ain't playing. I'm getting off my horse. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> no love. This dude got to stop moving around. He's flying. All right, bro. See how much damage that did? Like, for real, bro. Watch. I'm going to hit you in the face. We gotta proc poison right quick. Hold up. Oh, that's not good. That's the benefit of being on a horse. Uh oh. Ah, not again. Okay, good. Hold on, hold on. Where'd he go? Oh, uh, he's way over there, man. Hold up. All right, hold on. Let me, let me feed. Oh, I don't have any berries or raisins or whatever they are. Oh, man. All right, cool. Whatever. All right, all right, all right. Fine. I ain't messing with you no more. Fine. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up.
dude keep flying away like he's got wings or something, you know what I'm saying? There you go. That's it. Alright, great enemy failed, bro. Um, now here's the interesting thing. Alright, now you can go get, obviously, the upgraded magic dragon. Ah, whatever that guy's name is. I'm not gonna buy it. Like I said, I, I like the lower grade ones. They're, I don't know, they're cooler if you ask me. You, you do you. Now, right there, that's the Academy Glenstone Key. There's another one, but we're gonna get this one. We're gonna get another one inside inside the academy but uh that one we got to use to get open these magic doors these magic gates all right so that being said um uh, basically we're gonna go ahead and make our way all right you guys so now that we have the key we can actually get in there okay um but first before we go in there um i guess i don't need to be on the horse uh but I'm gonna be on the horse for a little bit, okay? Now, it's summon my dude. I'm not going to. Alright, cool. On, bro <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I actually love killing enemies with, with the bow I just love it man I love being all stealthy and sneaky and stuff like that like, I don't know, I like it. Now, the benefit is, if you're able to kill them, this dude don't move. And then you can get a nice backstab. Because these guys are, are tough. Um, not, no, I take it back. They're not tough. <clears throat> They're not tough. They're just annoying. They're just very annoying. Alright? You can come here during the day, just the same, it's whatever. Gotcha! Man, I've got two other characters that I'm coming up with, and I'm not gonna lie, those characters are kinda fun, but... Dude, these two swords are broken, man. <laughs> they are, dude. I, I just do, you know what, and I don't even have... There's a weapon that I'm gonna get later that is a uh, pole blade. It's probably the best pole blade in the game. And uh, I'm gonna pair it with another pole blade. And when you jump with this uh, right now with the curved swords, I get four attacks. See, I get four attacks. But when you jump with the pole blades, like two dual wield pole blades, you get six. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Now, um, I might as well tell you a little bit about the other characters that I got going on. I've got a Faith build, which maybe I even will play uh, inside Rayo Lucaria. Because I'm going to make that another episode. And maybe you'll see that character. And that one is, like I said, it's a pure Faith build. And I can't remember if there's anything down here. It is a finger person. And that one is... Um, Actually, you know what? I did a little bit of faith and strength, but I, I was thinking about it. And I'm gonna have to rework the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't even want to talk to you no more. Anyhow, um, so like I said, I was uh, upgrading that character. I was leveling that character up, and I gave the character probably more strength than needed. And I'm probably gonna fix that, but. Um, but as it stands, because I was thinking maybe I'd use uh, the Ordova sword. If you guys out there know what I'm talking about. And that's kind of like a strength and faith weapon, you know. So, but, you know, whatever. So here we are. 
this is what I was talking about. See the staircase? Like, if I go this way, like, I can get the jump on all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have no problem. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. And there's a... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, if you came from the front, you'd have to deal with all that nonsense coming from the front. Okay, because we was over here when we got that golden seed. Now, if you come up the stairs, you got, like, what, four dudes, plus they've got the fire cannon, and then you got another two dudes, and someone's going to blow their horn probably. Like, just come from the backside, you know what I'm saying? Gotta hit him from the backside. And, uh, let me think here. Might have been something on one of these roofs, maybe. I don't know. Could be mistaken. Let me see here. Maybe it was just that thing we got. Um, yeah, it must be. Must be, that's it. Okay, cool. Now, uh, there's one last place uh, before uh, we go through that gate, actually. We gotta go through that gate. And that's this right here. Yep, there we go. And there we go. Alright, let me get my horse. Or a torrent. Not really a horse. Horses don't have horns. Like ox. It's like an oxen horse. Alright, now. Um, I could have warped over here too, just the same. Now what we want to do. Examine the seal. I should have gone the other way. Matter of fact, I recommend you all go the other way because this is going to be painful. Yeah, this is going to be a bloodhound. A bloodhound fang. Not a bloodhound fang. A bloodhound knight. A bloodhound knight is going to straight up attack me right away. I usually don't come in this way. Usually I come in from the north side, north of Rhea Lucaria by the Bellum Church. And uh, that way is a lot safer to go in. I should have recommended you guys do that. I should have, well, I'll show you this and you'll see why you wouldn't want to do this. Oh, it takes us all the way. All right, so it doesn't matter. Uh, usually, here, I'll, sh I'll show you right here. Usually, I come in from right here. <clears throat> East Rhea Lucaria by the Bellum Church. And uh, that, that brings us right here. So we're good. This is cool. So first... Let's hit this. There's a few things we can do right here before we go in. Because <clears throat> that is that is the path to into the uh, academy. So first thing we want to do is, these are two ways. So like I said, we went into this way. You, I usually go in through that way. And first, I'm going to take you down this way. Alright. Um, I usually just ride on my horse. Um, grab up my bow. Anger some people. Or not people, but uh, wolves. Yep. Like I said, I, I love the bow, man. I don't care what anyone says. The weapons that I've choose. When you guys see the weapons that I'm using for my other characters, you guys are gonna be like dungeon. You're picking some, some like dog doo doo weapons over here. You know, I don't care, dude. I don't care. I don't care. I like I like powerful weapons. Yeah, you know I like being powerful and stuff like that. Dude, I'm gonna shoot you with this bow in point blank. All right. So I do. I like powerful weapons, but I also like 
I also like interesting weapons, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't have to necessarily be super powerful for me to like it, you know? And, like I said, most of the time I'm playing PvE anyways. Did I miss one of those, uh, bones? Alright, someone's chasing me. Someone sees me. Anyhow. So, weapons that I got... <clears throat> they are pretty interesting. Pretty interesting choices I think you would probably imagine I'd be choosing. Kill this one though. These ones are the bigger ones. Poison, bro. <clears throat> so what's interesting about this bow, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but this bow does a little bit of poison damage every hit even if it <clears throat> even if it ain't with like a poison arrow or a, a serpent arrow it's still gonna do poison damage which is pretty darn cool man <clears throat> um all right let's do this around here now, now you don't have to kill all these animals but you know i want to because, you know, you got to get these bones, you know what I mean? For when you want to make arrows. Or uh, some people, I think, use them to make darts, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm a bow guy myself. All right, cleared that area out. Now, make sure you have cash. Make sure you have that cash flow because this dude has some pretty interesting stuff. And you have to get it. You have to get this stuff. For instance, you have to get this. All right? I know you guys like, I don't want to buy another Ash. I don't have 2,000 uh, runes. I don't care what you have and don't want, okay? You have to get it. Um, spend, your, spend the souls on the stone sword keys. I would recommend that pretty highly. <clears throat> Grab the, the book. This is the book. That you can make sleep arrows with. So I'm pretty sure that's a sleep arrow one. Get that. Get these if you don't have it already. This is for the sword. The sword man. Sword master. I don't know what it's called. The guy that got the scimitars in the beginning of the game. The first starting character. Um, and then that's pretty much it. If you want to buy any of the other stuff, buy whatever you want. But I, you got to get the ashes gotta get the ashes and probably you should get this cookbook i'm pretty sure this is the cookbook that allows you to make the sleep arrows now matter of fact i'm gonna craft some sleep arrows now um yeah here we go sleep arrows how many can i make and when you make when you make one that's like 10 okay so i'm gonna make uh 50 so i don't have to use a sleep pot no more sleep pot's good but sleep arrow better you go, you could, you can do it at a longer distance. Now see that, that's that Bloodhound Fang guy that I was talking about. Alright, this guy is, I hate these guys, man. I'm gonna poison him, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Matter of fact, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna mess this dude up. You guys see what I'm doing? <laughs> Mighty shot, bro! I don't really use Mighty Shot very often, but I was like, you know, I want to try it out. And there's a Celestial do. Alright, now, you might think we're done here, but you know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warp right back here. I'm going to be back in a second, guys. Alright, y'all, so we're back at the main academy gate. And what we're going to do is travel on the portion of the gate to the north, okay? And uh, we're going to talk to someone special. All right, right here. Now, we're going to go invade. So make sure you got yourself ready. But we're going to meet someone who we've talked to before. Those who know.
it is. Yoria, Hunter of the Bloody Finger. If you don't remember who that is, Yoria is the person who helped us out when we were uh, fighting the guy uh, right in front of the Murkwater cave that dropped the Reduvia dagger. Um, so he was the one who, like, summoned in to help us out. I I'm pretty sure in the video that I posted, he didn't help us out at all, but... You know, that's neither here nor there, all right? <laughs> Our goal right now is to kill this this enemy he's fighting, all right? Don't matter, nothing. One step closer for those of you who want the Nagakiba, which is, I, I think, pretty well regarded as one of the best katanas. Um, and I get it, those of you Moonvale and Rivers of Blood guys out there, look, the Moonvale is actually really good. The Rivers of Blood used to be pretty darn good. It used to be broken, man. Rivers of Blood, you know, and I never really even liked it. So now we got the Ash of War, Raptors of Mist. But I never really liked that one. I don't know. You guys, you know, whatever. So we're going to talk to him. Oh, oh, bloody finger. We are one folks. step away. Uh, I may not know cool. how much I'm dying to see you. Eleonora. That's, ooh, Eleonora. All right. I, I don't know if any of you guys know. If you've been listening to me, you know what I'm thinking when he's like Eleonora. What's interesting is that the uh, in Dark Souls 3, the Eleonora's pole blade, I think it was Eleanor, old Eleanor's, the Eleonora was a terrible, well, mostly regarded as a terrible axe. Um, in this game, there's an Eleonora weapon. Pretty darn good. All right, so grab that golden seed and um, look, if you want to try to make that jump right there, make it. But I'm not going <laughs> to, that's because that's pretty much it. That's all we got. I'm going to warp over there. But before I warp over there, let me see. What am I going to, there, look at that, look at that. We're going to be there. See that right there? We are going there. Not yet, but soon enough. We are going over there soon enough. And uh, you can't, I don't think you can see it. But uh, somewhere, yeah, over that way, on the other side, you can't see it. We're going to go underground. But uh, next episode, we're going to be inside that place. All right? Hope you guys enjoy that. I'll see you guys next time. As always, thanks for watching. Stay cool. Bye, everyone.